Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today's episode is about bladed jigs or chatterbaits. Recently, there's been a slew of new ones that have hit the market, but which one is right for you? Which one is made with better components? Which one is priced better than the other? Is pricing a factor? Which one has the best action? Which one is the best bang for your buck? What's good with one and what's bad? We're gonna take an in-depth look underwater at what the bass sees as it's coming at them. The first blade jig we're gonna look at is the Picasso Shock Blade Heavy Cover. It was made in collaboration with Aaron Martin's MLF Pro and Angler of the Year on Bass. It retails from $7.99 to $8.99. It is available in 14 colors. It has a silicone skirt, a Gamagatsu 2X hook, and has a one piece tungsten football head. Let's slow it down and look at it at 10% of the original speed. Let's look at the Z-Man Jackhammer. The Jackhammer has the best components. A dual trail keeper, a hand-tied skirt, it's available in 12 colors, 3D eyes, a better hook, but it also retails for $15.99. The Jackhammer also does some crazy action when it doesn't have a trailer lure attached to it. Let's slow it down and look at it at 10% of the original speed. Strike King's Thunder Cricket has a thinner skirt material, but it also has a different sound. It has 3D eyes. It's available in 10 colors, and it retails for $13.99. Let's slow it down and look at it at 10% of the original speed. The Booyah Melee has the best skirt and best action when just retrieving in. It also retails for $8.99. It is available in nine colors. It has one good wire trailer keeper, but it's also very hard to find in stores, but online you can find it almost anywhere. It has 3D eyes and a different shaped head. Also, the bait drops in the water column differently than all the other chatter baits. It's a little bit slower, but at the same time, it creates a little bit more action, and it also has a great sharp hook. Let's slow it down and look at it at 10% of the original speed. The original Z-Man Chatterbait has no eyes. It has a regular trailer keeper. It's also available in 10 colors, but it retails for $5. It also creates a great vibration. This is the original Chatterbait that started all Chatterbaits and what everything is based on. Let's slow it down and look at it at 10% of the original speed. Now it's time to have some fun. Let's put them all side by side and compare the blade in the front to see the action. When slow down, look at the skirt. Look at the action of the bait, and you tell me which one you think is better. But we can't stop there. Let's see what it sounds like, and I'll increase the audio gain by 5%. I can only say that in my experiences during the 10 weeks that I used all these lures, the jackhammer caught bigger fish and more fish. Having said that, the jackhammer is very expensive. On a good day, you can find the jackhammer for $15.99. However, most stores that are here in Central Florida aren't carrying the jackhammer. And let's be honest, when you're confident with a bait, you fish better with that bait. And these days, when I'm putting on a chatterbait, the first one I'm putting on is a jackhammer. So which one is the best bang for your buck? You really can't beat the original chatterbait. It does still have great vibration, still catches fish, and for $4.99 or less, this is a bait that you should have in your box. 
So my best bang for the buck is the Booyam Melee. Why? The skirt is great. It has great action, great sound, and the vibration is still there. I actually caught almost as many fish on this bait as I did the jackhammer, but overwhelmingly, the jackhammer caught bigger and better fish for me. And at $8.99, you really can't go wrong with this bait. So hopefully this will help you decide which chatterbait is best for you. By all means, look them up, check out more information, and watch more videos. You can find more videos on these on our YouTube channel. Remember, we have prize packs to give away. So if you're interested in free tackle, then go to our Facebook page and private message us. It's facebook.com slash fishing Florida. Or if you feel more inclined, you can go directly to us and email us directly. It's info at fishingfloridaradio.com. Make sure you like the channel and subscribe and do all that stuff. We appreciate it. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on, and see you next time.